It's a strange world, surprisingly. The status is determined by the number of bars displayed horizontally. The more bars, the lower the status, while fewer bars indicate a more noble status. A couple of babies are crying, but the doctor is trying to calm them down. Maybe with only one bar, he is afraid that three bars will be too noisy. He picks up the baby with one bar and throws him to the ground. As time goes by, Jack, with three bars, grows up with a lowly status and is called a slave by others at any time. One day, Jack goes to the canteen to eat. He drops a piece of meat and it falls down the pipe. Jack picks it up and prepares to eat it. But then a cough comes from next to him. Jack looks confused and it turns out to be a guy with two bars. Jack quickly gets up and gives up his seat. He has no choice but to take the stick to the door and eat. Just after he finishes eating, a man with two bars walks in front of him. He holds up his purse and Jack respectfully takes it, then follows him like a dog. When he comes to the door of a vibe, he hands the purse back to him. Jack turns around and leaves because his lowly status is not worthy of entering. On the way home, someone suddenly hits him in the face. Jack is so angry, but when he looks up, it is a kid with two bars. Jack immediately changes his face and praises the boy for his kick. Then he goes back home. The unfair world makes him feel very depressed at night. Jack has a dream that a man is raised above him. When he wakes up, there is an eraser in his hand. He rushes to the mirror and realizes that he has really become a man with two bars. He goes outside to show off his power, feeling very satisfied. He goes back to the Veep door. After some hesitation, Jack still walks in, but to his surprise, two bars people are serving his people. One bar people act like emperors here. This makes Jack very envious. So he takes out an eraser and raises another bar. Finally, he becomes a high-ranking person. His former slave with the second bar rushes forward to serve him. Jack sits on the couch and pats the head of a second bar. The other two slaves rush over to massage him. Remembering what had happened to him, Jack feels that he has to take care of them. Just when he feels like he is at the top of his game, a hand comes down from above his head, and a powerful suction force sucks Jack right in. After some processing, he is turned into a piece of meat, becoming food for three bars. 